You know when you're in a hurry and nothing seems to want to work? Now I'm really sorry that this is going to be really quick because I am waiting for my drive because I do have a group to go to today. Because yes, continuing therapy is a very good thing. Um, I wasn't expecting all this mail. I will be back after my meeting to add on. I'll splice things together. Um, yeah. I wasn't expecting all this mail today, and I'll explain to you why. So this is what I've got today, if you can see, like, all of this stuff. Now, I have an idea, maybe, of what some of them could be. So these two, I don't know. We'll look at the map. This big Amazon, I don't know. We'll again look at that after. But what I really want to look at, and I'm going to turn the camera to it, is this box. And um, I'll tell you what I think it is. So you know those acrylic makeup holder stuff that they sell? You know, Walmart winners and all that kind of stuff. They're super, super, super expensive. Like, you know, $14 for a little thing. And I, I've been talking about that. I found a full set of one on Amazon for $39. Now, that's a very unusual price. I went for it. Like, one, if I don't get what was in the picture, it's guaranteed by Amazon. So, you know. And this is what I think might be in here. Because yesterday, I got a message that I wasn't going to get it, and I argued with Amazon because the dude... Oh, my gosh, there's boxes of stuff. The person that I spoke to was in another country, and, and not to look bad, um, yes, this is what it's supposed to be. Let's see if it has what the picture shows. Um, yeah. So apparently I didn't get a package within the two days I was supposed to get it. And he wanted to resend and reorder. And I tried. And I did use my DVT skills. Okay, I wasn't mad at him. I was frustrated. And I was trying to explain to him that one, I ordered this on Sunday. Okay. And we're Wednesday today and I got this already. Um, I ordered it on Sunday, and since the Amazon algorithm says I hadn't gotten it within two days, that that's why they were contacting me. I think I need to turn this a little bit more. And that's fine. But I tried to tell him that, like, no, don't reorder it or, or whatnot, because I'm okay with waiting. I know that the only Amazon distribution center in Canada is in Mississauga, Ontario, and I tried to explain to him and he did admit, because I asked him if he'd ever seen a map of Canada, and he said no. That, you know, the distance between Mississauga and here can't be done in like 12 hours. I even Googled how many kilometers it So, this is quite smaller than I thought it was going to be. However, it, it might still work, okay? Because even though I was explaining all that stuff to that guy on Amazon... Um, he still processed my refund, so I already have the ticket to resend this in the mail, if it's not what I was expecting it to be. And you know what? I think I can make this work. It's smaller than I thought, but I mean, hello, $39? I think I can fit my makeup in there. I don't have time to, like, open it all up and examine it or whatnot, and the picture did make it look like it was, like, this big. But, I mean, still, I'm I'm happy with this for $40. Again, if you want to get just this part, it's usually 12 to 14 at Walmart or Winners. So, that's definitely a win, okay? I'm happy with this. So, totally yay. Totally, totally yay. And I'll explain later why I think it was at a lower price. Um, maybe I'll... Well, maybe I'll sit now while I'm opening this box because I don't know what's in this. So, yes, I got my taxes back and I went on a little shopping spree for things that I needed. Some of that information is in the, the Ipsy video opening and mail opening that I'm currently editing. So this might go up first. I don't know. Um, but I did, buy, I did buy the new... I did buy the new poly gel system for nails. And I do think that this is the LED nail dryer. So, I know I'm getting off topic because I have ADHD. 
So sometimes things are super, super cheap on Amazon because it's a one-shot deal. And that happened to me at one point in the past. I had bought something, I don't know what it was, and there was a price difference. And for some reason, I don't really remember what it was because this was a while back. Anyway, she gave me the money back for me to repurchase it. But she made it that it was two dollars when I repurchased it. So therefore, I was getting anyway. Somehow it worked out. But for you know that ten minute period that I went in to buy the item, that sixty some dollar item was two dollars. And uh, yes, this is my UV lamp. Throw the box there because I got time to. I don't got no time for that. So, the new poly gel stuff, I'm excited for it. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to get some good product. I looked it up. They seem to be. No, I didn't buy the actual nail name brand, um, which is part of my little rant in um, the last video. But that's okay. Okay? The last video rant was just the fact that it's another company, and their promo video is stolen, and you can tell it's stolen from the original makers, which is, you know... Intellectual theft of stuff is not pretty cool. So when it comes to LED lights, they're obviously better, mostly for me, because I think I've been cooking my fingers with those UV lights. I mean, I don't know. I wanted to move to LED because definitely it's better for me. Uh, so this is what this one looks like. It's got LEDs. So some builder gel, the one that I had before, doesn't work with LEDs, but it turns out that all the colors that I've bought for my nails... Those are completely fine with LED, so they'll all work with that. I, most things are UV and LED anyway. Um, so I haven't plugged this in yet. I don't have time to do that. I will test that out later, but I'm super happy with this. I don't remember the price, but I will put it in there. It was a very good deal. And the big deal with this is just my tip to anybody out there that wants to get into um, the new polygel system or any kind of UV lighting. Now you can get cheap ones on AliExpress. So yes, I looked at AliExpress first before I wanted to buy this whole system. Because I thought it was cheaper. And um, in that process, Mel wanted to know if there's acrylic in the polygel because she's allergic to the acrylic stuff. And in all that, my research, I ended up on Amazon, like reviews on Amazon, and I realized that I could get all the stuff that I wanted for the polygel from Amazon, you know, in different brands that had good reviews because the brands I was trying to buy on on um, AliExpress had they were telling me that it wasn't even working. And then again, you, you know, with Amazon, you still have that kind of guarantee; it doesn't work within thirty days or whatnot. You know, you have a money back thing. And I looked into some things, and you need forty eight watts. So when you're looking at LED lamps, wherever the case may be, you know, you can be on Wish, you can be on AliExpress. I mean, those are probably fine. Um, I mean, I know enough about electronics to know that it's most probably going to be okay. However, if you want it to actually cure correctly, you need 48 watts. And the cheaper ones have different watts. So just make sure it's at least 48 from all the research I've done. So that's one thing. I'm going to put it back in the box for now, and I'll play with it later because um, my drive should be here soon. But she's not yet, so, you know, we're going to be happy about that. We're going to keep opening mail. So this is, um, I don't know, from China. 
I don't know. District, descripting, okay, I'm going to hide my, uh, my address. Can you see the description of contents? Light. My description of my content is light. Do they mean like shade-wise, color-wise? Is it an actual lamp? I don't remember buying a lamp, but God knows with me, I, could, I, I really could have. Who, who knew? I mean, yeah. Again, I will admit, I have a shopping addiction, and I know it. But, thanks to the classes that I've been taking that I'm about to go to, I'm learning how to make rational decisions not based on emotions. And that's a good thing. Because that was the big stress between um, my mother and I, which makes sense. Okay, she's my mom. I might be an adult, but I still, you know, have a little bit of difficulties going through life and all that kind of whatnot. And these are things for my mom. These are her fairy lights. She loves these lights. I don't know where she puts them in her house because she usually forgets that I buy them for her. Um, she loves these. And yes, I, again, I buy a lot of things for my mom on the internet. Um, you know, she pays me and all that kind of stuff. That's the point. Just because I like getting mail and she just doesn't have time to check her mail. So, yay, good thing for mom. Um, but yeah, again, she's my mother. She cares about me. She doesn't want to see me in a position where, you know, I'm not going to have enough money to pay my bills. So she's worried. And, you know, that's a good thing for a mother to worry about. But now she's realizing because I'm talking to her, because I'm taking all these classes and I'm learning to separate emotion and I'm separating between need and want and how to justify things. Um, in my last video, I talked about my Becca Cosmetics purchase, or maybe I'll put it in this video. Um, I can't justify the, the prices, in, in my mind, anyway, for me. I mean, one, I don't have that much money to begin with. And I mean, I would love to have high-end products, but some of the prices that they have on them are insanely high. And to me, they, I just can't justify paying that kind of money for something. When this look, and the look that I had in my last video, which was even awesomer, is all done by drugstore products, like Becca Cosmetics highlighters that I bought in a lip topper, um, were the first high end products I've ever bought. And I only bought them because they were on a flash sale on a hot look. And it was a reasonable price. And I, I, am, I only looked later to find out how much money I actually saved another thing for my mom which is great I'm happy I like opening mail um I'm gonna it's it's so bubble wrap like jeepers like you know they send you fragile things okay and we're gonna go with makeup because uh that I talk about makeup a lot and I'm in a lot of makeup groups on Facebook surprise um, you know people get makeup you know they buy it online and they get it and it's all like smashed up why can't they wrap it like this like these are sculpting tools, okay? Because, again, my mom wants to get into wood carving. Good for her. I mean, she needs a hobby. She likes it. That's not going to hurt nobody, and maybe she'll make something really cute. I mean, I don't know. Good for her. But, like, if you're going to wrap sculpting tools this way, because this ain't breakable, why can't you do that with, like, fragile things? I don't know. So, mom has her things. So, my drive's not here yet, and let's see what time it is. Quarter to one. All right. I think I still have time. Now let's look at this and see. <clears throat> so I'm going to move everything over that you can't see behind you without knocking my camera over. Because if I do that, I'm not going to be happy. Just to see if I can fit things in this thing. So we are going to experiment together. So if anybody wants to know how, okay. This is my, my makeup. All right, my camera's loose. This is my makeup. This is what I want to set in there. So let's see if it's going to work. I think editing exists. So, we're going to keep filming until my dry gets. 
So we're gonna keep filming and trying on this until my drive gets here. Why not? You know, to me that's living dangerously, okay? That's one thing that you have with like OCD and all that kind of possible whatever. Oh, these things come apart. Okay, well that's okay. I'm not gonna move them around so much. So yeah, I don't like being late. I don't like wasting time. I don't I, so, by the way, these are all separate pieces. So, let's go down and look at this. So, this comes with one piece. And then this is another piece. Which is fine. Like, that's how you would buy them at the store anyway. But each one of those pieces would probably be like... <clears throat> so, each one of those pieces would probably be 20, 30 bucks. I mean, I've looked at these things. Trust me, I've looked. Alright, so... This one, oops, so this one, if you can see it, is my biggest palette, and I don't think it's going to fit. It's not. You know what? That's okay. You know what? It's okay. We can live with that, all right? We can most definitely live with that. So, this is e.l.f. So we're going to have, let's just put all the e.l.f. palettes away. Because I have like way too many of them. Way too many. Um, I have a hard time opening them. Baked eyeshadows. On their own, they don't do much. They don't do much. But if you add them on top of already, look, they, they look great. These are um, Mad for Matte palettes. And I have the Naked Prism eyeshadow. Which they're supposed to send me another one. And I thought that was one of the things that was tracked in, I don't know. So if you look at it correctly, the last colors, they're turning gray. There's, there's no pigment in them. So. And I sent them an email and they did refund me and tell me they were going to send me another one. I don't know. I mean, either way, it's, it's okay. It, they refunded me anyway, so I'm not going to complain about anything at all whatsoever. Um, if they send me an, a new one, uh, that would be greatly appreciated. I love that. So, all right. This is a Naked Prism. Put that away. Oh my gosh, I have so much stuff. So now I have three of these little quads. Oh, they're not quads. I think they have five of them. Of these little ones, so... That one's one of my favorites. This one as well is another one of my favorites. And this one as well, but I'm not a fan of the blue. Because I just, I don't think I can pull off blue. But I like the other colors. <coughs> so we're going to, no, those are going to fit in there. We're just playing around, okay? Having some fun. <coughs> then I have these two from e.l.f. Now, both of these were gifts that they gave me. So, you know, don't complain about gifts. Then I have my NYX glitter shadows. Who would have thought that I have glitter shadows? And yes, I'm organizing everything, you know, in a way that... I go see. So, I'm going to organize this, and if I have time to show you the end, I will. Have a good day. Okay, everybody. I finally got everything put together. I went to group, came back. Took me a while to get everything. So over here is uh, the last video exporting. It's kind of long, but, you know. It was, I cut it in half, and then there's little clips, and... I don't know. Just have fun. Ignore my juice. So, right here is my lamp. I can see the lights kind of not doing. So, this is the LED lamp that I just got with my new. So, it works. It's got 30 seconds. There's a timer on top. It's pretty fancy. 10 seconds, 30 seconds. Then you put it on low and turn it off. Um, I'm very satisfied with that. Oh, it also has. Oh, that's so neat. Yes. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to unplug that just not to 
wear it out. Okay. So, here is what happened. Now, in this video that is right now exporting, I talk about people buying stuff that they don't need when it comes to makeup. Now, you see all that? Okay, those drawers. I have too much. I had to have a second part. I need to stop buying. I really do. And again, other than those Becca highlighters, there's nothing else out there that I really want anyway. So I'm super happy with my purchase. I don't know what the guy from Amazon yesterday was talking about. Either way, I've got it. I'm not refunding it. I'm happy. $39. I'm not kidding. Just one of those things. Just one of these is like 14. Somewhere there was a sale. I don't know. I'm happy. Alright. Love y'all.